In this tutorial, we'll create an OBS Twitch stream overlay from scratch in Adobe Photoshop, and we'll put it all together in Streamlabs OBS. Let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop. I wanted to give you a look at our final overlay design. The dimensions are 1920 by 1080, which is our viewing size. If you know you'll be streaming with different requirements, make sure to keep that in mind, but these concepts will still apply. In this example, we have space to display our social media accounts, we have some dynamic text to display our newest follower, our newest subscriber, and our latest donation. We also have a space for our webcam, and we have a subscriber gold bar down here at the bottom that will fill up the closer we get to our goal. The background here is just a visual placeholder, as is the webcam. The dynamic text names up here at the top are also placeholders. When I design a stream overlay in Photoshop, I like to mimic the final look and feel as much as possible so I can really get a feel for the final product. So let's start from the beginning. Keep in mind that you should already have a basic knowledge of Photoshop for this walkthrough. We won't go through basic Photoshop tools or processes in this tutorial. With all my layers off, you'll notice that I have a transparent background. This is important, and I'll explain a little more on that later. Let's begin with our top information here, at the top of our design. They look pretty fancy, but here's how we build this. I'll do so on a new layer. Just use the polygonal lasso tool to create this angled shape. It's as simple as clicking for each point in my polygon. Then, when I'm happy with my selection, I can fill it with the color black, or any other color you prefer. Once we have our shape, we can create the colorful drop shadow underneath. It's really simple. Just copy the layer with our shape on it, then lock transparent pixels right here in our layers panel. This basically means that we won't be able to draw outside of the boundaries of our artwork anymore. So next we can choose our gradient colors, a blue and a light cyan, for our foreground and background colors here in the tools panel. Select the gradient tool, it's located here under the paint bucket, and then we can apply it to our shape. Now this colored shape will need to be below the black polygon. Then we can adjust it so it sits beneath it. Repeat this process until you have as many panels as you'd like. I use the text tool to place text above each panel too, but this is optional. We can follow the same process for our social media info in the other corner. Check it out. It's just another polygon that I drew with the polygonal lasso tool, filled it with black, and then used that same gradient on a copy underneath. The social media icons were pasted in. You can find a ton of classy social media icons on Envato Elements, and again, use the text tool to add your info. I also want to note that I like to keep my elements all sorted into folders. This is largely for organizational purposes, but once you start creating a lot of components here, it can get really confusing. So organization can really help. Let's continue to use these ideas to continue creating our layout. For example, let's look at our webcam placeholder. All I did here was use my rectangular marquee tool to draw a rectangular shape. Then, I filled it with black. To add in a placeholder image, I used a clipping mask. Again, this is optional. We won't actually use this image in our live stream. Again, I like to create a lifelike mock-up, so I can really get a true-to-functional feel for how my overlay is going to look once I get it all into Streamlabs OBS. The same here is going to apply to our sub-goal here in the corner. The actual progress bar here is just a placeholder for now, so we can see how it's going to look in action. At its heart, it's just another polygon with the exact same process again. Check it out. Draw a polygon, give it a fill, and then we can create a decorative drop shadow. Same method. So when designing this layout, I thought it might be nice to tie it all together with some line work. We're going to stick to our same process again. Create a selection, fill it, and then give it a decorative drop shadow. Now this gets a little more complicated at the bottom because I changed the angle up a little bit. Still, we've already used this process. There's several ways you could do this, but again, I like to use the polygonal lasso tool. So that's the nuts and bolts of this layout. What do we do next, and how do we make it actually work? Well, first thing we're going to do is get rid of our placeholder content, after you make sure to save your work, of course. This means no background image, no placeholder webcam photo, and no dynamic text. Anything that will be dynamically part of the stream, like auto-rendered text or video, we won't need to export here. 
Again, that stuff was just a visual preview for our reference as we were creating our design. The basic premise here is that we're going to save our work as transparent images, which we'll then import into OBS. There's no absolute correct answer here. You can save and import and construct your layout in so many different ways. So keep that in mind. These are concepts that you can use, but not necessarily laws that you have to follow. We'll demonstrate this with our top panels right here. I'm going to flatten the content on these layers by selecting them and then right clicking and selecting Merge Layers. Then I like to select and copy. If you're familiar with shortcuts, this is pretty easy. Command or Control A, then Command or Control C. At this point, we can create a new document. Notice that the dimensions here are different. It's the exact size of the content we just copied. So just click Create and then Paste. So here we have our work all flattened and ready to go. So we have a choice here. We could save each of these panels individually, or we could save some time and save them as a group. Individually might be nice if you know you want to move them around, but if you're sure you want them in a line just like this, we can save them collectively. I'm just going to save a transparent PNG file of them as one group. And that's the process that we're generally going to repeat for each element of our layout. Let's try it again with another piece. I'm going to take the social media panel here and flatten this content. Select it and copy it. Create a new document. Paste your content and then save it as a transparent PNG file. So we'll repeat this process for each part of our layout. The way you save and slice it up is completely up to you. Could you do it as one large transparent file? Absolutely. It mostly depends on your preference and how mobile you'd like each part to be. So now that we have our pieces, let's take a look at OBS. In this demonstration, we'll be using Streamlabs OBS specifically, but you could also use standard OBS. The concepts here are similar. For starters, we have scenes. So let's start off with a new scene here called My Overlay. Keep in mind that you can have and use multiple scenes if you'd like to. Scenes contain sources, so let's add a new one by clicking on the plus sign here. We'll add an image. We need to give our source a name and define where it's located. So here's our top panels, all loaded into Streamlabs OBS. I can click and drag to move it around and position it wherever I'd like it to be displayed on my stream. We need to go through and do this for each image that we exported. And here's what it looks like, that same process, just repeated, several times. But now we need to look at some of our dynamic content. Let's start off with a stream label. Please note that you won't be able to see these widgets over here when we add a source unless you're logged in. So if you're not already logged into Twitch, make sure to do that first. Notice with stream label selected, we see a whole bunch of options here. New donations, cheers, follows, and a lot more. So let's just click add source to get started. Give the source a name. Mine's going to be newest follower. So something to note here, if your channel is brand new and you don't have any data here yet, it won't be populated. If you can, get a friend to drop you a follow. I'm using a test account here, so thanks to my friend for being my latest follow. You can change the attributes here like font and size, and then click done when you're happy with it. Just like other parts of our layout, we can click and drag to move and place the text right where it belongs in our layout. So let's take a look at some other pieces of our layout too, like our subscription goal. That's another source we'll need to add and then select. Again, we have a host of visual options here. You can set the goal, what it says, the colors, and more. Have fun with it. I'm going to use the condensed version here and then add it to my layout. Positioning this new source is simple. Click and drag, click to resize until you're happy with how it looks. Now, let's also take a look at capturing content. Again, this is all under our sources here. Display Capture will capture your entire monitor. I often like to do this if I'm sharing more than one thing at the same time, like maybe Adobe Photoshop and After Effects collectively to share my process. Window Capture is a little different. For example, I can just capture Photoshop rather than my entire screen. Game Capture is also what it sounds like. Most PC games I've tried out work well with this function. For example, I started up Final Fantasy X, selected it under Game Capture, and that's that. Video device capture is usually what I select for my webcam. 
select your camera, and then Streamlabs OBS will give you a preview. There's so much more Streamlabs OBS can do. There's other widgets, on-screen alerts, things you can do with animations and sounds, and even lights in your room. This is just a taste of some of the ways you can get started, and I hope it inspired you to dig in and build a stream overlay of your own. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and happy streaming!